guys <laughs> welcome back to my youtube channel my name is grace abby i'm a Ghanaian and i'm a student teacher and you're welcome back to my channel so guys in today's video i'm going to talk about seven reasons why i love teaching and before we begin with this video i would like to give a shout out to um abena's world she's a ghanaian youtuber and she's been supporting me throughout this channel i'll leave her link in the description box so you go check out her channel as well without wasting much time let's move right into the video my number one reason why i love teaching is building relationship with students as a teacher growing up i've always wanted to be a teacher and I love to connect with my students. I love to know more about my students. I like to be there for them. I like to show them comfort. Whereby even if at home they are not um, feeling comfortable at home or they are not getting much support from their home, whenever they come around me, I should be able to give them that comfort they need. I love to make my students feel loved whenever they are around with me. I get to respect them, they get to respect me. Even if they are not in my class, I love to be with them, to give them a helping hand whenever they need me. I remember when I was having my observation back um, six weeks ago, <laughs> yes, I, I was told to go to class two. I do teach in KG too, but the teacher in class two wasn't around at that time, so I was asked to go there and go take up the kids. And when it was break time, all the kids in KG2 came to me like, Madam, why have you left our class? Like, I built a relationship with them, even though I'm not their teacher. Uh, I, I was just there for observation, but I connected with them in such a way that when I left that class for that day, they couldn't um, stand without me. Like, they missed me, so they came around me. I asked them questions, they answered like, yeah, so I need to build that connection with them, build that relationship with them in such a way that even if they are gone, they've left their school, they can still come around and I'll not be strict on them. They are not going, I'm not going to build a relationship with them in such a way that um, when they see me, they can't get closer to me. Like this madam, they have to go and tell her like she's not going to even smile at her. No, I love to respect them and also they also respect me. Yes, I love to build such a connection with them yes so that's one main reason why i love teaching to build that relationship with them yeah, they can share whatever they are they are having with me and whatever is wrong with them they can share with me because i've given them that comfort yes so i love to be there for my students and connect with them every time so yeah that's one main reason why i love teaching so the second reason why i love teaching is that it provides opportunity for creativity growing up i always say to myself like i always say i'm not creative because at that time i thought creativity was all about drawing and you know other stuff but no um teaching has really helped me and has really shown me that creativity is not all about drawing yeah it, it help, um it, it's not all about drawing but then the way I even teach, I've seen that I've put in some creativity in it. The way I structure my method of teaching and compose even music out of it to teach my kids, to make it fun for them. I've, I've made my teaching in a style whereby my students are able to enjoy the lesson. Like, I express my creativity through my teaching. Yes, let me put it like that i express it i expressed it <laughs> what am i saying i express it through teaching yes uh some i remember when i was in school i was teaching them about the traffic light and i was able to compose a song of which they loved you see that after even the lesson they keep singing the song and even whatever you you've taught them sticks in their head so creativity is not all about you drawing 
or trying to structure a point but even in my teaching it has helped me to create something you know and i love that about teaching okay every time you find something new you find something new to create as a teacher yes especially as an early grade teacher i'm an early grade teacher and every time i even compose songs like <laughs> yes to help my students so that's another reason why i love teaching it provides an opportunity for creativity so the third reason why i love teaching is to watch my students grow is to watch my students start from the lowest to the highest is to watch them climb up the stairs to the highest level is to watch them being unable to read to being the best reader to watch them being unable to write to write even better yes when i was doing observation i love sharing all these stories because they they might inspire someone and they really helped me as a teacher and that's why i love teaching that's why i entered into the profession i i, I encountered um one student i don't even have to right so there was one student in my class who couldn't write her name she couldn't write her name at all like she would rather copy someone's name and someone's name will be in her head okay but as time goes on before i left there that six weeks i told myself i must make sure this girl is able to write her name and yes i was able to do it and i was so happy like i was so happy and then my mentor once asked me when i told her this girl is able to write her name i was laughing she was like why are you laughing and i'm like I don't know but i feel like i've been able to do something like i've been able to watch this girl go like how 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 happy i am people will be like ah so what is in this that you're happy that someone can write her name <laughs> like you don't know the joy in it when it comes to these things i was so happy that this girl was able to write her name before i left there and i know she's going to remember me for the rest of her life also i helped some people to even read better before I could leave that class. So watching my students grow is one reason why I, I love teaching. Because I get to help someone climb up a ladder while the person is struggling down there. You know the blessing in this? This is why teaching is a good job. Like, it's, it's full of blessings when you do it with a genuine heart. When you do it because you love it, because you want to do it, not because of the money you receive or just because you feel like there's no job let me enter into teaching no i love to watch my students go i love to see them make bigger things i love i love to see them um become better people i love to see them transform into a new person a new being bringing out big things bringing out the big uh, um, um things like yeah like making big achievements yes as a teacher, I love teaching because I want to see them go. I want to see them go far. And then when I sit back as a teacher, and I'm like, hey, these students, I taught these students. Like, the, the happiness that is in it, watching your students grow from this to this, is another reason why I love teaching. Yes, let's move on to the next one. So the fourth reason why I love teaching is the fact that I get to have fun. I get to have fun with teaching. So you can be teaching and then one student to crack a joke and it becomes funny to you even the teacher. You can be teaching and then you ask a question. Uh, one person will get up not understanding the question and will give you a very uh, will give you an answer from his or her heart, but it's very funny. And then you can be teaching ah, and then you, especially when I'm teaching these children song. I can be teaching them and then when you ask them to start all over the song again they spoil everything and it becomes funny like it's funny to me i don't know if other teachers get angry at that but to me it's funny like hey these children have killed me like it becomes funny i was teaching them a christmas song recently we did it um i think the 21st yes yeah, no on the 19th yes of december we had a car service but before then i was teaching them a christmas song on the first day of christmas you can imagine <laughs> we sang 
so I think the fifth day and then they had to start again and they messed the whole thing up. It was funny, like you can be there and then I'm I'm trying to sleep and fall and all the ch- children will shout, Hey madam, like I get to have fun with everything I do as a teacher. I can be teaching, especially the music you have to compose. The music I compose, I don't know if other teachers compose, but you compose a song with one, some of the lessons, yeah. And you see the children playing the like, get up, get up, you know. <laughs> you start singing and then, you know, the children are moving about, they are enjoying it, they are having fun. Like, teaching is fun. There are so many things in teaching, and yeah. It's the best job ever. <laughs> it's the best job ever, yes. Someone can even crack a joke and like the whole class will laugh. Like <laughs> you the teacher, it's even funny for you. Like I get to have fun with teaching whatever I do. Even watching them do creative things, I get to have fun with it. And yes, you see them drawing. So, there was a time I was teaching them uh, numbers on the pages. So you know this is page one, page two. So though I made it's a competition among the class so when i said open to page one you say everybody's rushing you see the way they even do it is funny as kids it's very funny madam madam i'm the one i've opened it <laughs> like it's very funny i get to have fun every time with these kids yes as an early grade teacher i get to have fun i'm speaking as an early grade teacher okay i don't know for the others but for my part i get to have fun that's why I love teaching. I I play with my kids. <laughs> um, the fifth reason why I love teaching is because um the topics of discussion are endless. They don't end every time you are talking about the same thing, and it's the same um topic, but every badge you teach, there are different discussions that come with it do you understand you can talk about my family right um you hear let me say you're teaching badge a right the discussions you have with that badge during that lesson is different from the discussions you have from the next badge like it's the same topics but the discussions you have with the students the interaction the interactions sorry you have with that student the students, I mean your students in your class, is is different. Like, every badge is different. I don't know. The teachers who watch me, please correct me if I'm wrong. Because every badge you teach, there's something different. You can realize that when you're teaching a badge, the next badge that can come, you'll be like, ah, you'll be teaching them and then they'll, you'll be interacting with them and then they'll be like, said this, madam, that. And they'll be like, ah, yeah. The other badge said a different thing. Like, they are endless it's the same topic but there are different uh, discussions and you get to learn a lot you get to find out about a lot yes so that's why i love teaching because i get to enjoy all these conversations because they are different different even with these kids these early grade kids there are different stories you hear they are not like one thing there are different stories when you you teach them they are different when we are discussing it with them there are different things you will hear you hear the same thing throughout all the badges no there are different things you hear yes yeah, so there's that's one another reason why i i love teaching it's another reason why i i don't want to stop teaching it's another reason why i enjoy what i'm doing because the discussion alone is 100 percent. it's endless it doesn't have an end yes it's not the same thing throughout you so you enjoy every teaching every time it's the same topic by every badge you enjoy it differently yes so that's one reason why i love teaching let's move on to the next one so the sixth thing or the sixth reason why i love teaching is that you get the opportunity to learn about the world yes so through okay so in the early grade side especially when you are teaching about my family and the origin of family the history of family um I don't know how to say, but sometimes you you get to hear something new about certain people, something you wouldn't know or like something you don't know about a tribe. Every time you you teach, right, 
the history part in the award of um, the history part yes so when you teach the kids you get to learn different things from them there are certain things you learn from them like hey i don't know about this i've learned from you so every time as a teacher i'm learning every time as a teacher i'm discovering things to my students i'm learning about different cultures i'm learning about different things they do and then about certain foods they don't eat i'm always um getting new information as a teacher and when you keep records of these things you realize i get to know a lot as a teacher because every time you're discovering new things and you see there are changes in curriculums and everything so when it happens like that you always get something new as a teacher you always get something new from the students and yes it's it's a very big slice of achievement it's a very big something yes as a teacher i get to learn things every day i get to discover new things every day you can learn about a particular person's tribe or a particular you learn about something you'll be like oh no i want to go and visit this place and see it so yes I, I, I that's why i love teaching the fact that i get to learn about the world get to learn about new things i get to learn every time there's something new every time like there's something new every time if you keep teaching yes <laughs> please just say something in my comment section like yes there's something new every time the teachers were out there if you can even tell us a story of uh, some of the things you you got to know like some of the experiences you've had it will help others as well that's the same reason why i love teaching i get to learn about the whole world sometimes in your class you can get someone okay i've never taught anybody who is outside ghana before but in my class in the class i've taught or maybe all the teachings i've done so far i've never but you can have a foreign person in your class and you learn about so many things apart from what the internet gives you or what the um, books give you you can learn a lot of things out there so yes a teacher every time we are learning new things every time we are learning new things <laughs> yeah that's why i love teaching that's why teaching is good okay don't underrate us teaching is good the seventh and final reason why i great i love teaching is fulfilling my promise oh no sorry fulfilling my purpose not promise growing up i've always loved to be a teacher even if I, I i didn't see it early but every time i like to be holding pen marking i'll i'll hold kids stand in front of the wall or a mirror and talk my mom saw me some time ago and i was like i'll be a teacher i should go and be a teacher like i'll be a teacher she always says that but i'm like no i was i was little but growing up i realized now nah, i really like this thing and if you go into my family a lot of them are teachers my grandfather was a headmaster two of my car like a lot of teachers are in my family <laughs> i don't know why but few bankers i don't think they have a doctor yes but teachers there are many in my family <laughs> and i feel like i'm fulfilling my prob my purpose as a teacher or my purpose of me being on, on earth yes amazing that yes or maybe on earth i'm fulfilling whatever i promised myself i'll do right i'm fulfilling whatever i promised to help a child i'm helping somebody i know i love teaching i want to help somebody i'm fulfilling that purpose that in my place in front of me that like i want to do this i want to do that so it's another reason why i love teaching because i know within me i'm fulfilling a purpose a purpose I, I I know I'm here for. A change I know I'm bringing. That's why I love the teaching I'm doing. Because I know I'm bringing a change in someone's life. I know I'm pushing someone forward. I am lifting someone up. And that's why I love the teaching I'm doing. I'm not going to lie. I love it 100%. So yes, these are the seven reasons why I love teaching so 
guys thank you for watching this video if you watched this video to the end I love you so much and thank you for supporting me 31 of you <laughs> watching me god bless you but let's take this family to the next level because the next video i'll be bringing is something big it's something god has placed on my heart it's something i was lying down and then it just came out like go and tell this for this <laughs> so let's say that the next video i'll bring is actually something that is is from god to you to you as a teacher to you as a leader to you whoever let me just <laughs> stop it so let's take this family to the next level let's let's raise our subscribers let's raise our views share my videos and like subscribe comment so all my teachers out there who have watched you can type in the comment section some of the reasons why you love teaching and to those who are not teachers who are watching my video comment why you love the job you are doing what why you love what you are doing so that others will read so that i can get to know the reasons why you are doing what you're doing i could read it and love it let's take this family to the next level we can get like 100 subscribers by next year i don't know how you're going to do it but let's keep pushing this family okay let's take it to the next it will be the best new year gift ever to see my channel getting 100 subscribers like I'm aiming <laughs> so please thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe like turn on the notification button to get notified whenever I post a video and you can comment share my videos tell others about my channel yes this is Grace Abbey peace out see you in my next video <laughs>